separating substances, straining, sieving, churning, centrifuge, hand picking, threshing, winnowing. You must have seen people passing their brewed tea through a strainer before drinking it. What is in the strainer and what is in the cup below? The strainer contains tea leaves and the cup below has clear liquid. This is called straining. We use the straining method to separate tea leaves from the brewed tea. Straining is a method of separating substances. We use the straining method many times. Can you think of where else we use it? We use straining to separate the cream from milk. We use straining to separate the pulp and seeds from juice. We use straining to separate the water from the pasta. When we strain, we usually separate a solid from a liquid. We also sieve to separate solids of different sizes. We pass flour through a sieve to remove large particles in it. We pass sugar through a sieve after we powder it to remove large particles that may be left. A sieve is just like a strainer. The size of the holes changes in different sieves. If we want to remove large stone from sand used for construction, we sieve it. The fine sand passes through the sieve. The large stones are left behind on the sieve. A colander is a kind of sieve too. The holes let out the water after we wash the vegetables. What did we just learn? Straining or sieving is a method of separating substances. The size of the holes changes from sieve to sieve. We choose the sieve depending on what we want to separate. We churn curds. What happens after churning for some time? The butter separates from the curd and rises to the top. The liquid that is left behind is called buttermilk. So churning helps to separate butter from curds. We can also separate blood into its parts by using this method of separation. Blood is put into bottles that spin really fast in a machine. That machine is called a centrifuge. It separates the blood into its parts. Blood banks then store these parts separately as they last longer when stored this way. When we use this method to separate substances, it is called centrifugation. The machine in which it is done is called a centrifuge. We use centrifugation to remove fat from milk and make skimmed milk. We use centrifugation 
to remove water from clothes during the spin dry cycle. What else do we use centrifugation to separate? We use centrifugation to remove fat from milk to make skimmed milk. Removing water from clothes in the spin cycle of the washing machine. What did we just learn? Churning or centrifugation is another method of separating. We use this method to separate butter from curds, parts of blood, etc. You might have eaten chiwda. What do you do if you don't like peanuts? You can pick out the peanuts by hand. Picking out by hand is a method of separation. Can you guess what it's called? Hand picking. We use hand picking to remove stones in rice before cooking it. When can we use hand picking for separating things? When the things are dry, when the things are big enough to be picked by hand, when things that are to be separated look different. What did we just learn? Hand picking is a method of separating substances. To do this, things must be dry and easy to pick by hand. One should be able to see the differences in things to pick. When farmers harvest grain, the grain has a coating called chaff. The chaff is not eaten, so the chaff needs to be separated from the grain. This is done by beating the grain stalks on the floor. This is called threshing. Another way to do it is to lay out the stalks and make oxen or donkeys walk on it. Nowadays, threshing is done along with harvesting in the combined harvester. In threshing, the grain is removed from the chaff but the two are still together. The chaff and grain need to be separated from each other. How is this done? The mixture is thrown down from a height when the wind blows. The chaff is lighter than the grain and blows away. If you don't have too much grain to separate, you can even do it with a fan. This method of separation is called winnowing. You can even throw the grain in the air like this. Normally, we get peanuts like this with their skins on. After roasting, we can roll them in our hand to remove the skin. The process of removing skin is similar to threshing. Then you can winnow them like this and let the skin blow away. Or do it in your kitchen counter with a hair dryer. What did we just learn? Threshing is a method of separating substances. Threshing is done by rolling or hitting the substance to separate it from the other substance. Winnowing is a method of separating substances. Winnowing is done by letting wind separate the lighter substance from the heavier one. 